Corsicans of the mighty French Empire. The Corsicans were a race apart, obsessed with an ancient code of honor which demanded vengeance and fueled an unrelenting lust for blood. This was Vendetta. It set family against family, robbing children of their fathers and mothers of their sons. For centuries, two such warring families, the Da Frankis and the Da Gidicis, were haunted and tormented by this spirit of vendetta. Vincente's sister. I must see him. It's urgent. He's with his wife. They're in the house. You fool! Don't you know better than to look at the misery? Dying. Of what? I don't know, monsieur. They just said you must come at once. My poor sister. Tell them I'll be there in an hour. Take one of the Orlandi with you. Or Grifo. If Orso da Gidice knew... Orso da Gidice knows that while you're carrying your child, no member of our family may be harmed. That is the code of the vendetta, and he is in honor bound to observe it. The only code observed by Orso da Gidice is vengeance. I beg you, Vincente, take someone with you. I dreamed of death last night. It may be hers, but it could be yours. I'll deal with Madame before another of Frankie Brat is born. Where shall I hit him? The Code of Calatia? Yes. I forbid it. All women do not sleep, but men speak loudly when they are drunk. I heard you last night. I heard it all. Don't you think I hate the de Frankie as much as you? Don't you suppose I would like to see the wife from the face of Corsica? But I tell you this. You kill a woman great with child, every one of us who bears the name of De Gedici will be cursed by God in heaven and man on earth. Yes, even your children and their children, you will bring shame and ruin on us all. Come here, boy. I have something for you to do. An urgent message. Get it, you boy. 
Beware the Calder Colaccio. lying in wait for us. We've been betrayed. It's a trap. Oh, God, my wife. We'd never get back in time, monsieur. Madame, she should let me, or one of the men. If they killed my husband, Orso de Guilice dies by my hand, and mine alone. Pietro de Chirici never gets back at all. Let me hold a woman. Monsieur, has no one told you? They are joined. They're Siamese twins. Never been done before, not successfully. No son of mine is going to live like that. Ancestors protect them. 
Triscuit, the cracker with a new great crunchy taste. Just listen to your mouth. It's a Triscuit. Triscuit is sponsoring the Corsican Brothers. Listen to your mouth. That's the crunchy texture of a Triscuit. Mm. Now that's the delicious whole wheat taste of a Triscuit. Ooh. And that's the unique look of a Triscuit. They're made to take on any topping or no topping at all. Just listen to your mouth. Ah. That's the sound of a happy mouth. <laughs> Triscuit, listen to your mouth. Take a glass of refreshing fruit juice. Now, take it on a roller coaster. Well, now you can take fruit juice anywhere. With new Lifesavers Fruit Juicers, the first roll candy with real fruit juice. It's a beautiful morning. Hot biscuits rising with the sun. I think we're done. McDonald's takes biscuits hot from the oven and turns them into delicious breakfast sandwiches. Beautiful. Some very special people were there for me when I was growing up, my foster parents. You can help a child by becoming a foster parent. Call Lucas County Children's Services, 891-3370. Hey, Toledo, every day's a celebration on the riverfront with CityFest. Be a part of it all. For schedule information, call 243-8024. Bring your dreams to life with Pella Wood Windows and beautiful new Pella Wood Doors. Bring your home to Pella. Whatever you dream of, from a sunny sunroom to a kitchen bay, we'll help bring your dreams to life. Talk to the window experts. Bring your home. For Pella in Northwest Ohio, see the Clark Snodgrass Company at 5056 Angola Road. At Bill Knapp's. We're famous for our clean plates. Like this one, made popular by one of our seafood dinners. Or this one, compliments of one of our chicken entrees. Of course, our complete menu provides a lot of other shining examples, too. Because at Bill Knapp's, we make sure everything is good, right down to our plates. Like our signature meal featuring fried chicken and all this for just $6.99. Bill Knapp's. Everything we do is in good taste. The vendetta between the De Frankis and the De Gidicis dissolved into an uneasy truce as the children of both families grew up. The De Franchi twins, although physically identical, were different in character. Whilst Louis immersed himself in his books and dreamt of going to France, Lucien grew up into a typical Corsican and kept the feud alive. Louis! Louis. Just let me finish this. ever since you were born. But it cannot go on forever. And if fighting starts again, it's you that a giddy tree will attack first. What can I do, Mother? I'm a man of peace. In Corsica, there's no such thing. Are you still thinking of going to France? I don't know. I haven't made any definite plans. Hey, did you? Maria de Gitesi. 
No daughter of mine will marry into that family! Lucien, if I go to France, why can't you come with me? You know I couldn't. We could live in Paris. I'll never leave Corsica. I couldn't live without these mountains. Air, space. I must have freedom. And Anna Maria de Guidici? Anna Maria has nothing to do with it. But you love her. I feel it whenever you're near her. This morning when we passed her in the village. She is a de Guidici. Therefore she's my enemy. But I felt your whole heart go out to her. With your own? So how can she be your enemy? Or mine? Vendetta. Vendetta, vendetta. What is it anyway? Why don't you call it by its real name? Murder! It is a part of Corsica. It has been for generations. It's a part of me. It's a part of you. It's in our blood. You can't escape that, Louis. I can. And I will. And you will do something else. You will speak to Anna Maria, I know you will. Don't. They come for us all in the end. I would not have told you if they hadn't insisted upon coming with me. I must. My dear son, even you cannot protect me from death. What God has written when man is born is marked down. And none can avoid it. I have seen the squadron of the dead. <laughs> oh, my dear son. Say goodbye to Louis for me. I love you both.
The Remington Microscreen shaves as close as a blade or your money back. The first screen shaves incredibly close, the second even closer. Shaves as close as a blade or your money back. Now, lowest price ever on Remington Microscreen Rechargeable. Have your snapshots developed where you see the Kodak Color Watch seal and you'll get this game card free. You could win $100,000. Play the Kodak Color Watch System snapshot game. You're going to thank me for it, especially if you win. Introducing a light potato chip with a country fresh flavor. New Pringles Light Ranch. And guess what it's missing? A lot of the fat in their regular potato chips. Mmm but you'll never miss it. And it's missing a lot of their salt. Mmm, but you won't miss it. New Pringles Light Ranch, made with sour cream, buttermilk, and herbs for so much country fresh flavor. Mmm, you'll never miss what's missing. Try the hot dogs so full of lean, fresh meat that they plump when you cook them. Ballpark Franks. Handsome carrying case not included. Since 1957, we've had our own grain embargo. Ballpark Franks. No cereal, no fillers, just fresh, lean meat, so they plump when you cook them. Ballpark Franks. parent's worst nightmare, having a child abused at the hands of a babysitter. On the next Oprah Winfrey Show, we're going to talk with parents who believe they were leaving their child to the care of a responsible sitter, only later to be shocked and horrified to discover their child had been abused, mistreated, or even killed at the hands of an irresponsible or mentally ill sitter. Babysitting abuse on the next Oprah Winfrey Show. Come on, smile. Give me a smile. Say cheese. This is making me hungry. There's one place you can get a lot of cheese for just 99 cents. Taco Bell introduces Mexi Melt. Real cheddar, Monterey Jack. Ground beef and zesty pico sauce. Together, melted in a warm flour tortilla. The new Mexi Melt, only 99 cents. Taco Bell has a rotor. Make a ride for the boy. The day starts early for most working women. Lunch is packed, dinner started, children dressed. All this before we can get to our real job. And for one out of three women, that real job is office work, demanding work that goes unrecognized. The people at 9 to 5, a national association for office workers, understand you're juggling all of this. And they can help, especially at the office. For some fresh ideas, write 9 to 5, Box 14567, Cleveland, Ohio, 44114. It's worth your time. On Magnum, a gala costume party gets out of character. Is this a dagger which I see before me? A classic Robin Masters murder mystery. Everyone here knows that a murder was committed here this weekend. One of you knows who did it. Someone wants Jonathan to take the fall. Just to make Higgins look incompetent. Critics. The perfect frame on Magnum. Wednesday morning at 9 on WTL to 11. Next time on Family Ties. Please, is there a doctor in the house? Yes. It's a television event when Elise goes into labor on the air. C contraction. Uh, Mallory, Jennifer, how, how far apart are they? Uh, about three feet. It's the big moment. But where's Papa? Down the road! We're having a baby! Witness the birth of a brand new Keaton. It's a boy. Thank you! Coming up next time on Family Ties. Wednesday at 5.30 and WTOL Toledo 11. Lunch. 
fly. Give me that bird immediately. Anything on our property is ours. If you do not give me that bird this minute, I shall bring you before a judge. Very well. If you want it so badly, eat it. <laughs> <laughs> He dishonored you. I avenge the insult. Now go home. Tonight I will hunt your soul, Bernardo de Guilici. This is the stupidity of vendetta. A chicken wanders into someone's courtyard, and what happens? A young boy is killed. A whole community is at each other's throats over something it had nothing to do with. We had nothing to do with it. Your land here are our cousins. Their vendetta is our vendetta. I don't understand you, Louis, and it's no use pretending I do. The De Guidici killed your father, and you should be avenging his death, as Lucien will. Won't bring him back. Mother, grief, I'll leave us a minute. I dreamed last night. In my dream, I was you, in Paris. I felt great danger. In my dream, I felt a sense of peace. Such peace as I've never felt before. Our destiny draws nearer, Lucia. Mine is to end vendetta. I know that now, beyond all doubt. What is my destiny? What is my fate? I cannot help you. We can only be true to each other. Nothing must come before that. Nothing will. I swear it on her mother's life. Louis. If I should die, I will come to you.
Is the governor at home? My dear Mr. DeFranchi, come in, come in. I apologize for calling so late. Not at all, I know it must be important. Monsieur, I have made my decision. I will go to France. Oh, my dear boy, I began to think it was never going to happen. You do not know what this will mean to me. To have you in Paris, the first Corsican to renounce the vendetta, to testify against its evils. Come. Now things must begin to move. Giordano Martelli. Louis, please, not Baron. We played barefoot in the dust of Corsica together. Giordano, then. <laughs> <laughs> what brings you to Paris? Come in, come in. You should have warned me you were coming. You must stay here. Oh, Joseph, prepare a room. Before I do anything else, I must ask your servant to deliver a note to the Chancellor. I want to see him tomorrow, if possible. Surely it can wait for a day or two. I can't. Vendetta has broken out in our village. Every day that passes can mean death for my family. Or yours. Oh, please. Come. Sit. It's ink. Thank you. When I used to fight the Digidici with you and Lucien, I used to think the vendetta all important. But during these years in France, I've come to think it as barbarous as you. And the sooner it is outlawed, the better. You look so French. Do you still dream? Less and less. You lose the power. Go on, finish your note. And then we shall eat. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Giordano. George. What luck. Now I can introduce my two best friends. George de Caio, Louis de Fleury. Pleased to meet you. Uh, will you join us for dinner? You know I can't. Ah. The fair Emily? But of course. You know, George has been married for six months. And he is as much in love as ever. More. Much more. She is the most adorable creature in Paris. And I'm the luckiest man in the world. You must meet her. Will you excuse me? I ought to get back. Yes, of course. Giordano, why don't you bring your friend to one of Emily's next evenings at home? I'd be delighted. Monsieur? Louis, come, sit. Go to the table, monsieur. He is a lucky man. Do I detect a broken heart? Yes. I know exactly how you feel. The times I have suffered, I've almost lost count. But I can assure you, you are in Paris, and I prophesy you will be in love with 